Well, yesterday, the federal government announced sanctions against the Russian citizen they say is behind the 2022 Medibank data hack. 9.7 million records containing dates of birth, Medicare numbers, sensitive medical information of customers was stolen, with much of it published on the dark web. Now, the government said it's a timely reminder for Australians to be vigilant about the cyber security. So what can you do right now to protect your personal information online going forward? So for more, we welcome back cyber security expert Yasmin London. Hi, love Hi. to see you, Yasmin. Okay. This is the first time an Australian government has identified mm -hmm. a, cyber crip, a cyber criminal and imposed these sanctions. Mm -hmm. How significant is that? Look, it's a really good start. Is it going to really change the threat landscape for Australia? No. But I think we do have to recognise the interagency response, the work by police. Uh, and, you know, as we've sort of discussed before, the cloak of anonymity being removed from him mm. is a really significant deal. You know, it makes it much harder for him to operate under these sorts of circumstances now. But are we thinking this is one of... A thousand, thousands of people doing this, right? Yeah, absolutely. He's one of, you know, a large syndicate. So I guess what we're looking at here is not just him, but an analysis on everyone that's connected with him as well. So that's a great thing. OK, so the Albanese government says they'll continue to hold cyber criminals to account. Mm -hmm. um, will that be enough of a, threat, a deterrent? Or, or do they don't, don't really care? Like Look, they'll just create another identity, they go underground, like... There's definitely ways around it. I guess and if I they want to come and visit and go to Queensland... Exactly. Right, that's not going to happen, maybe. Exactly. Like, he's in Russia, yeah. so the whole question around this is enforcement. How do we enforce these penalties? So he's looking at financial penalties, he's looking at a travel ban. Interestingly, uh, it's the people around him as well that are going to suffer consequences if they aid his business. So right. there's, you know, up to 10 years imprisonment, for example, for anybody that contributes or helps. But yeah, that's exactly it, Kylie. He's in Russia, so is it a big deal? Probably not. Can we talk about motivation a bit? What, what are they trying to accomplish? Is it for money, for ransom, or is it, is it bragging rights in that community? What is it? Oh, I've got no doubt there was a few high fives in Russia the day that this all, all happened with Medibank, but in the end it's about money, it's about leverage, it's about the next big uh, target that they're looking to, mm. to, to capture. So it's all always about how they can sort of elevate what they're doing, make more money, uh, and, you know, target bigger and better organisations. Right. Yeah, the government came out and so this is also a really timely reminder for Aussies as consumers to maybe tighten up our Security Act. Yeah. You've got some tips for us. Look, it's always a good time to have a look at your basic security hygiene as an individual. Mm -hmm. So looking at your passwords, uh, trying things like pass phrases so that you remember what your passwords are. Using two-factor authentication is also really important on devices, uh, on social media accounts. Uh, and of course, reporting to places like Scamwatch, the police and banks, anything that's a bit suspicious. We've got to have a mindset of, of suspicion mm -hmm. now. Gee, we easily give our information away nowadays, don't we? And we see a little yeah. secure sign on a company's mm. website and we think, OK, yeah. that's fine, we yeah. trust it 100%, we probably shouldn't do that. It's a really difficult spot that we're in because in order to participate fully in life, we have to hand yeah. over our data. But one of the, the big issues on the horizon is going to be regulation and compliance. So if we look at what's happening in the US at the moment, that is coming to Australian shores over the next couple of years and it's going to be a big deal for businesses. OK, really, as you say, really important reminder to sort of... What do you call it? Hygiene. Cyber, cyber hygiene. Cyber hygiene. Yeah. <laughs> do you practice cyber hygiene? I, I do. I am very We all do hygienic. our best to it's be hygienic. It's not your screen with green you know, <laughs> oh, 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 it's oh, 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 o